Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and other photosynthetic organisms take solar energy and convert it into chemical energy. They do this by taking water and carbon dioxide, two stable molecules which have very little stored energy, and converting those atoms from those molecules into molecules of glucose and oxygen gas, molecules which are not as stable and have more stored energy. Photosynthesis is a metabolic pathway, meaning it takes a series of chemical reactions to go from H2O and CO2 to C6, H12, O6, and O2. There are two main divisions of photosynthesis. These are known as the light reactions, where the solar energy is collected and converted into chemical energy, and the Calvin cycle, where CO2 is converted into glucose by using the chemical energy from the light reactions. We will be looking into the light reactions in greater depth in the next video. It is also important to remember that during chemical reactions, atoms are not created or destroyed. Instead, old covalent bonds are broken and new covalent bonds are formed. There are just as many atoms before photosynthesis occurs as there are after. When we look at the equation for photosynthesis, we see that the product, glucose, has six carbon atoms in it. That means that we need to have six carbon atoms added in the reactants. That is why we see six CO2 in the reactants, because there is one atom of carbon in each of those molecules. We also see that glucose has 12 hydrogen atoms. They're the only source of hydrogen in our reactants is from water. So we need six water molecules in the reactants as well because there are two hydrogen atoms in each of the water molecules. When we count up all of the oxygen atoms in the reactants, there are 18. Six of those oxygen atoms will become a part of the glucose that is formed, leaving us with 12 oxygen atoms to make oxygen gas. So we have six molecules of O2 in the products, along with the glucose. In order to understand the significance of photosynthesis, we need to look at another metabolic pathway, which is used to release the energy stored in sugar molecules. This pathway is called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is the breakdown of glucose in the presence of oxygen gas to release the stored energy into a usable form for the cells. In this process, glucose and oxygen gas are converted into carbon dioxide and water. Hopefully, you are able to see that the products of photosynthesis are the reactants of cellular respiration, not the products of cellular respiration, are the reactants for photosynthesis. It is important to note that even though the same atoms are used over and over again, the matter is cycled. The energy is only flowing in one direction. The energy that is stored during photosynthesis and released during cellular respiration originated from the sun and is eventually lost as heat. The sun is what powers the vast majority of life on this planet, both the producers and the consumers. In the words of They Might Be Giants, The sun is hot, the sun is not the place where we could live. But here on Earth there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat, the sunlight that we see. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration have the same reactants and products. The only difference is that one occurs in plants and the other in animals. True or false? The carbon used to make sugars in photosynthesis comes from the organic matter in the soil, CO2 in the atmosphere, water from rain, photons of light. All of photosynthesis occurs in a single step. True or false?